So today we will talk about a very lovely, fragile and sophisticated poem. Very lovely. Infant Joy from Songs of Innocence. So there are only two stanzas and this is the colored form of the same picture as you can see. I have no name. So as you can see here, there is a kind of angel or mother or a child is born. A very newly born child is there. So you can say this. So this is very lovely, full of flowers and all. So straightly come to the poem. I have no name. I am but two days old. What shall I call thee? I happy am. Joy is my name. Sweet joy befall thee. Pretty joy, sweet joy, but two days old. Sweet joy, I call thee. Thou the smile, I sing the while. Sweet joy, befall thee. Sweet joy, befall thee. So here is a child, very newly born child, and he is saying here that I have no name. I am but two days old. So this child is only two days old and he has no name and he is saying that I have no name. Very simple. So now his mother says and asks, What shall I call thee? Ki tumhara naam mein kya what should I call you? I happy am. Now the child speaks. I happy am. Joy is my name. Then he says, this child says that I am very happy. To be born and joy is my name. Ki mera naam aap joy rakho. Jada sahi rahega. Kyun? Kyunki mein bhoat khush ho. Mein paida hua ho. I'm very happy. Dekho this poem is from Songs of Innocence. To is mein bhoat khushi ho ki baate ho ki. Dukh wali koi baat nahi ho ki. Sweet joy befall thee. Now mother says sweet joy befall thee. Ki tumhe bhagwan sari khushiyan de. Tumhe sari khushiyan mile. Tumhe... Gum se rahat mile. Pretty joy, sweet joy, but two days old. Again, mother is saying, Sweet joy, you are only two days old. Sweet joy, I call thee. Main tumhe sweet joy kehti hoon. Thou the smile means you must smile. I sing the while, sweet joy, befall thee. Sweet joy, befall thee. Bohat hi choti si, pyari si, simple si poem hai. Bacha paida hua hai, bohat khush hai. Now, the counterpart of this poem is Infant Sorrow from Songs of Experience. And that poem is very symbolical and very deep and pathetic. Now, in this poem, a child has been born very well. He has been born in a very good house. His mother is very loving him. He is giving him a prayer. He has given him a joy. 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 But now, we come to Infant Sorrow. Look, the mother is not the same as everyone. और ना ही सभी को अच्छी अपब्रिंगिंग मिल पाती है नॉट एवरी चाइल्ड इज लकी टू बी बॉर्न इन अ वेरी गुड हाउस इन अ वेरी गुड पेरेंट्स होम एंड कई सौतेली माएँ भी होती है लेकिन अब इसमें क्या है सौतेली है नहीं है वो तो भगवान जाने और विलियम ब्लेक जाने लेकिन हम इस पर बात कर लेते हैं इनफेंट सोरो बाय विलियम ब्लेक माई मदर ग्रोन्ड माई फादर वेप्ट into the dangerous world I leapt, helpless, naked, piping loud, like a fiend hid in a cloud, struggling in my father's hands, striving against my swaddling bands, bound and weary I thought best to sulk upon my mother's breast. Ab yahan pe jo bachcha hai, again here is a child which is born, but the scenario is totally different. How? At this time, the mother is groaning. Mother is weeping. Groan is a sign of sighing. S-I-G-H. Sigh. Ah ki awaj jib hum dukhs se kuch hum tadafte hain. Hamari bhaasha hain bolte, isko karnate hain. My mother groaned. Ye jib bachcha paida hua, when this child is born, his mother is weeping. My father wept. Father is also weeping. Because this is an unwanted child. And they are not at all happy. Parents are not at all happy by this child. Because this is an unwanted child. Ho sakta hai out of wedlock hua ho ye. Without marriage. Ya fir. Ye isi liye dukhi hai because they are poor. Isi liye bhi dukhi ho sakte hai. Into the dangerous world I leapt. So here the dangerous world is the world William Blake wants to portray. 
that this child is born now maybe this child will be taken as a laborer maybe he will become a chimney sweeper or he will be discriminated in the society so this is the dangerous world i leapt i leapt ka matlab hai act of jumping कि मैं पैदा हुआ इस डेंजरस वर्ल्ड में इस खतरनाक खौफनाक दुनिया में मैं पैदा हुआ मेरी माँ भी रोई मेरा बाप भी रोया हेल्पलेस मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता नेकेड नंगा पाइपिंग लाउड पाइपिंग हेयर मीन्स क्राइंग क्राइंग लाउड लाइक अ फींड फींड इज अ डेविल और डीमन हिड इन अ क्लाउड जस्ट लाइक अ फींड इज हिडन बिहाइंड द क्लाउड और इन अ क्लाउड just like that i am piping loud i am crying because i am totally helpless i cannot do anything regarding my birth struggling in my father's hands papa ne uthaya hai godi mein haath mein bachcha struggle kar raha hai bahar nikalne ki striving striving again struggling striving against my swaddling bands swaddling means the clothes in which the child is wrapped or the act of wrapping बैंड्स अगेन इट्स अ स्ट्रिप ऑफ क्लोथ जैसे बच्चे को हम बिल्कुल लपेट देते हैं ना कंबल में ब्लैंकेट में उसी तरीके से इसको भी लपेटा हुआ है माँ बाप खुश नहीं है बच्चा स्ट्रगल कर रहा है बाहर आने का बाहर आने के लिए स्ट्रगल कर रहा है कि मुझे थोड़ा सा फ्री छोड़ो बाउंड एंड वेरी आई थाट बेस्ट टू सल्क अपॉन माई मदर्स ब्रेस्ट बाउंड बंधा हुआ एंड वियरी टायर सम एग्जॉस्टेड I thought best to sulk upon. So earlier I was thinking that there must be suck here. The word suck, but sulk. Sulk is also when you are upset, or जब आप रूठ चुके हो किसी से. या फिर sulk also means very slow. But here the meaning of sulk is pout. जो girls pout बनाती हैं ना photo selfie लेते वक्त. वो वाला pout है ये. तो pout का मतलब है कि उसने सोचा थका हुआ है, बंधा हुआ है बच्चा. देन ही थाट कि अच्छा है इस भरी दुनिया में दुख भरी दुनिया में माँ बाप भी खुश नहीं आने वाले समय में पता नहीं क्या क्या परेशानियों का सामना करना पड़ेगा इससे अच्छा है कि चलो जो होगा देखा जाएगा फिलहाल मैं अपनी मम्मी का दूध पीता हूँ तो सल्क का मतलब है पाउट बना के दूध पी रहा है बच्चा तो एट दी एंड द चाइल्ड थिंक्स एंड डिसाइड्स टू सल्क अपॉन हिज मदर्स ब्रेस्ट क्योंकि दुख है अब वो तो झेल नहीं पड़ेंगे आने वाले समय में उसको तो कोई रोक नहीं सकता है तो ये है एक्सपीरियंस सॉन्ग्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस में हमेशा ही बहुत ट्रेजिक चीज़ें दिखाई गई बहुत ही क्रूड चीज़ें दिखाई है विलियम ब्लेक ने तो ये दोनों पॉइंट्स मैंने इकट्ठे डिस्कस की ताकि अच्छे से समझ आ जाए आप लोगों को सो थैंक यू सो मच बाय अगर अच्छा लगा तो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब और यू कैन जस्ट इन्जॉय लिटरेचर इज़ फन यू जस्ट जस्ट इन्जॉय इट keep loving it bye